full time on that Old Trafford. So, big news. Manchester United have won in that game and it's all excitement for the players. They're hugging and laughing and I really enjoying the three points they've gotten. What a fine way to start your tenure. What does this result mean for Ralph Ranić? Not just in terms of their standings on the table, Anthony, but also uh, moving forward. We know all the troubles they've had, mm. you know, post Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, or with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and also Michael Carrick, some would say. But uh, how massive will this be? in all areas for Manchester United? I think huge. Um, I think, you know, it was um, a much-needed victory coming from the, um, you know, 3-2 win against Arsenal. Um, and it's important that they build from here. Um, it was a game where they weren't particularly um, sensational, all right? They had to really dig deep and a moment of brilliance from Fred defined that game holistically for 90 minutes, they have waves. They had waves of performances. Uh, first half was good. The later part of first half wasn't so good. Um, the second half, the early part of the second half was, wasn't so good. And then they came alive midway through. And then at the tail end when that goal uh, finally came. So um, springs of um, good performances here and there. It's not holistic yet. They've got a lot of work to do on that team but yeah i talked about the fact that they've kept a clean sheet for the yeah, very first time in yeah while. in a long while at home all right it was really in very necessary uh for them going forward um they've got young young boys next in the champions league they've got norwich they're traveling uh to Carra road uh when they return for premier league so really some really good winnable fixture uh could be the perfect time uh for raf to begin to uh, imbibe all of his ideologies and uh, techniques and playing style into the team gradually because they are playing teams who are not so, um, you know, at their level, uh, to put it into perspective. So, yeah, yeah, good one for them. Um, let's see where they go from here. Uh, for Faso Good, it, it is the right way to actually start the winning mentality. Um, we have seen that the era of Ole is gone. There is a new breath of fresh air mm -hmm. in the club and the the players are beginning to believe they can pick up points so let's see where this takes them um you know december january and then we can say but like i said earlier on as things look now currently i think my united can be able to make top four and uh, maybe the quarterfinals of the champions league but that's just it for now until something drastic changes in the entirety of the way the team plays Absolutely, a new uh, beginning, new era, probably a new Fred. That just answered my question. Uh, we could see a Fred that will be box to box as well as enforcer. Uh, we could see the Fred that will be giving freedom to Rome. But today's game, the philosophy was clear. My United pressed high up the pitch. My United forced errors. My Manchester United, you know, played like a team that that got something at stake. And we have to give credit to the philosophy the man has imbibed within the few. Uh, hours is hard to work with this crop of players. Uh, we saw the likes of Jaden Sancho move, moving over, you know, to the right, right hand side of the wing, and of course Bruno Fernandez as well moving over to the right hand side of the middle of the park. Chelsea fan, but yeah. I love how Man U huh. into this man want to this match. Wait, come! What is strange? Up, this? They have Man U is, is, people. When it comes to first four, Man U is important. Is important in first four uh -uh. for the competition to be. Uh, well, well, uh, to be enjoyable, to be tactic. I, I, I want Man U in top four so that we will enjoy uh, what we Premier Premier League. Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. I am very happy for my. I am a Chelsea fan, but the other way around, I am happy for my. What's hmm. <laughs> happening? Uh, Chelsea are fans are happy for United. Up. This newfound love. Hmm. I don't understand. Oh, that's nice. Uh, is it Ronaldo? Yeah, and up. Is I want it... them to come in. I want, why is it one of the best uh, club in the England? Hmm. So why should you care? <laughs> <laughs> is it your care? I don't understand. You're uh, wasting uh, care. You're wasting care. Bro, bro, don't mind him, I beg. You're wasting Please care. care. I, I, I know that Chelsea will go on top again, but I, I'm happy that my is coming. Just pray for that. Be your, yeah. be your brother's keeper. Don't we don't keep anything. Yeah. We don't keep. We don't know that. Ronaldo team won. Not like man you won. Ronaldo team. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Yes. This one a no, complex I... love. <laughs> situationship. <laughs> <laughs> this one called situationship. <laughs> See, 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 the boys cannot laugh because they want to. No, I, I've always been laughing now. What are you saying? I've always been laughing. I'm happy United won today. All right. You know, we can smile all like some people who have been giving us sick love. That they tell you. Who are they? <laughs> Telling us they love Ronaldo. Who are they? And you don't love the club he plays for. <laughs> eh? He's a one-man club. <laughs>